What is up? So just checking in. Today is Saturday, is the afternoon. I have been sat on my ass quite a lot of the day and I think it was just, I was sitting there pondering, going, ugh, do I want to say or like jump in on this? But I think it's so important for anyone who is making massive decisions and transitions within their life is there are going to be so many ups and downs. I've been so full on for literally the last five plus weeks and I've shared it yesterday, like my best friends, my family, um, and all these things. And I think it's one of those spaces where I haven't shared on socials. I haven't shared it to the wider community uh, that I am part of or that is that surrounds me. And I think one part of it is just I'm not I'm not sharing it for obviously personal reasons. I want to make sure the mortgage kind of goes through, everything like that. So I think everyone can kind of relate to that when it's like such a big decision. But also I'm surrounded by an absolute tip in my bedroom. And I can't help but think when definitely just now I've been scrolling and getting lost in my phone, watching the Olympics in the background, but getting lost in in my phone, watching everyone else's lives, watching everyone live it all up in traveling and Bali and everyone living through there, seeing my ex, um, obviously just having fun and all those sorts of things. And I think it's one of those bits you can get so far in your head. Like I haven't even left the house today, it's Saturday. I was meant to go to the gym. Didn't go to the gym because it's going to take me an hour to walk there because I don't have a car and I'm not living here. Bus didn't have a route. Anyway, that kind of just went into that little spiral bit and I'm fine chilling out and I needed to chill out. Clearly, I've needed that all day is to have a lazy day because my brain has been so occupied and I'm pretty sure that you can probably relate to or have some relatability to. My brain has been so occupied for the last five, six weeks that is just, it's just absorbed and I just, this is the first time I've actually sat down properly, properly for ages and I needed it uh, more than I actually realized. And I think it's so, so important just to pause. I really, really I've just been sat there and you should do this, you need to do that, you need to do this. And I'm like, I'm tired just thinking of it. Yes, I can get up and I'll go and do my thing tomorrow. I've got an event tonight, but um, yeah, this, this whole week and this whole vlog situation is just to give that real encounter of the highs and the lows, like, Clearly, when I don't do any movement or even just going for a walk in the day, I can get so wrapped up in my thoughts. Going through your phone, obviously, is an absolute negative spiral. Um, it doesn't actually serve you, and I know it doesn't serve you. So straight away, once I've been sharing this moment with you, I'm going to sort out my room, get everything kind of set up, and do and tick, tick off a few things off the list because I'm making such a big change, and I think I need to honour that for me and myself, and also honour that yes, life is going to be changing. I'm not going to be walking on the beach every day. It sounds like it's like going to be a negative, but it's not. Like, the change in the direction of my life and what I want to do now is the new chapter of being close to my family, being close to friends. Yes, I sound like a beaten record that I've just said that all week in um in where I want to take things and everything, but I know it's not forever. I can rent my new place out if I want to. I can go travel when I want to because I've created this and I've created that role in the job that I do to be able to sustain that and live the life that I do. And I think it's just taking that pause of actually appreciating it. And even when I say it out loud is just appreciating what I've built because it's always you wanting to go to that next bit. You're always wanting to change. You're always wanting to do this. So it's like, it feels nice that I'm going to actually have my own space and be able to create that and have my own home and build it and do all of those things that I have yearned for and I have wanted for a long time. And I think even just going to the depths of the core of, breaking up with someone who I was with for the last four years on and off and it's a crazy spiral when you see all these different things kind of obviously that's the killer when it comes to social media you get lost in what everyone else is doing versus that and even just that of like what it could have been um where it could have been and it's time to move on and to let go and allow that space for that love to carry on there's no animosity or whatever but also knowing that it's a new chapter that I'm entering and I'm choosing that chapter and it's it is an empowering chapter and I think it's um, definitely something to learn from every single day and knowing just this week, every day there's highs and lows within that day. Like I'm so excited, I've got so many things I've already bought for the place. I've nearly got it so furnished already and I've only put it off for it about five weeks ago. Um, that is the level of, of efficiency uh, when it comes with me. And um, yeah, I think it's uh, it's just important just to jump on here just to really bring in that space of what it means to move back across the world and what it means to move back home to the UK where I haven't lived 
for 11 years and I've done it in different bits and paths to it but I think yeah this week has been definitely real high and low and questions is this the right decision you can pull out now you know you'll save yourself certain bits of money da, da, da. and then it's like but then is it the life in Bali that you want is that where you want to actually build some roots and all those sorts of things but I feel like I'm constantly chasing visas chasing sim cards chasing or changing or doing all these different things to acquire this certain lifestyle and that is great but I definitely know I've reached that point of like, I can still maneuver and travel and all around the world. It doesn't just end just because I'm moving countries or I'm moving back home. It means I get to create the next chapter. And that next chapter is what do the next five, six, seven years get to when I start to reach or when I want to go towards hitting that 40, what do I actually want to achieve? Um, and I think they're really big questions that we can get lost into. But up until now, up until being 34, I've landed on my feet well, not because... I've been lucky. I've been told I've been lucky, but actually I work really bloody hard. I've taken a lot of risks that most people wouldn't do. Um, I've invested time into so many things when it comes to work, when it comes to studying, when it comes to my clients and what I do, but also the passions and following and staying true to my heart. So I think it's like I've worked so hard for this. Part of me is like, am I giving up on that lifestyle? And part of me is like, no, it's just the next chapter. And it's like, what do you actually want? And what are you... What are you... Um, responsible for but your choices that you want to make and are you going to have any regrets when it comes to it and I think that is one big thing for me is am I going to ever regret these decisions the answer for me is my family are here I've been away for a long time people are getting older we've got illness within the family and that matters to me more to be closer to the ones I absolutely love every single day and if I want to go off for a week or two then I can do that with most of my work and most of my presence on social media I'm all about being honest, being truthful, and also taking you along for the ride and the journey too, because it's never just easy and plain sailing what you see on that um, glorification on social media or how we can be smiling and dancing and all these sorts of things and things look really good on the outside, but also inside things are happening too. We're all, we've all got things ticking over that we've got to make decisions on. We're all overcoming loss or grief or ending relationships or different things like our life is always changing and I think for me to you is definitely just closing up on on a week like this and we'll chime in and see how we go tomorrow but I think uh yeah chiming in for like this part of the week has definitely been a testing week of is this the right decision and I don't think there'll ever be a right decision and I don't think there'll ever be a good time to do anything and it's all about pulling that trigger taking the action and seeing where it all takes you from there. Because from what I just said, up until 34, I've been making shit happen. I've been making things happen and making it go forwards and move forwards. But with all that direction, and now it's like, actually, what do I actually want? Where do I want to see things? Where do I want to drive things? And that is where this turning point is really starting to happen and make some magic.